It's my bed. It comes with all the luxuries a bed should have. So fluffy and comfortable. If I had a label maker, I would label this Amber Stuff, and I would keep my label maker there. It's as useful as batteries are. That's saying a lot. I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. It's not working, but that's okay. I can't tell the time anyways. My collection of paintings. Mom said I could have any painting in the house for my room. It was a rigorous selection process. Sometimes I hear voices coming out of it. They're usually kind of informative. It's all about the birds and the bees, and how the birds like to eat the bees and other insects. The tools I use to transfer my genius onto paper. Yes, yes, drawers. What will they think of next? Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. It produces particles, or is it waves? The tools I use to transfer my genius onto paper. A cardboard box. I think this one is full of my rare bottle caps. It's pointless dedication from a bygone era, I know. They belong to my mom. She must have forgotten them in here when she was cleaning. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. I've read all of these. Some of my favorites are Boomerang, What Goes Around Comes Around, The Island of the Monkeys, and Staring Down the Barrel, A Drunkard's Tale. I've read all of these. Some of my favorites are Boomerang, What Goes Around Comes Around, The Island of the Monkeys, and Staring Down the Barrel, A Drunkard's Tale. I use this chest as a reading bench sometimes. Unlike most women, I just like to sit near the window on a cold autumn day under a warm blanket with a good book. It's just this weird work I have. Nothing interesting about them. 
Well, one of them has a PhD in clinical virology, so I guess that's something. I don't have a green thumb, like, at all. Well, I do now, but I was doodling with a green crayon last night. Folium Cadent. When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right, I didn't. It's really hanging in there. Ugh. It's just a window. Don't let this crippling amnesia get to you. You can do this. I should talk to Millie. She seems frightened. Millie, my toy giraffe. I've had her since I was five years old. She seems frightened. I should talk to her. It seems you had a nightmare. I don't really remember. That's all right, miss. Nightmares are best forgotten. I guess you're right. What are you doing here, Millie? Is everything okay? Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven, and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. I think I can find my brother on my own, Millie. I don't really need Ted's help anymore. You're growing up so fast, little miss. But please reconsider. There is something else I have to warn you about. The reason I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week. Ever since he showed up, the officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city, your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well... Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a citywide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, 
and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz, and I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does, and I play hard. Subscribe now. Do it. Yes, you. You right there.